but it's a big kitchen sink sort of book into which the exuberant author, a writing fool, throws everything he knows, happily changing voice, philosophizing, violating the consistent narrative, dropping Ishmael, picking him up again, doing everything he can think of, reworking his research, indulging in parody, unleashing his pure powers of description so that the real Moby Dick is the voracious maw of the book swallowing the English language. The novel's greatness is not negated by the fact that our culture has changed and we now no longer hunt the whale as much as we try to save it. In fact, according to newspaper reports, whale watching, not hunting, is now the greatest threat to their well-being. <laughs> or whale being. Going out in sightseeing boats to frolic with the whales is a bigger industry now, producing more income than fishing for them, and threatens to disrupt their migratory patterns and thus their organized means of survival. In fact, one can imagine Moby Dick as possibly a prophetic document if one day the Leviathan rises from the sea in total exasperation of being watched by these alien humans, who once at least in hunting them were marginally in the natural world but now and only observing them are in that realm no longer, and so rightly destined for the huge open jaw and the mighty crunch and the triumphant slap of the horizontal flukes. 